All right, here are the matching scenarios with the graphs. So you don't have to cut it out if you don't want to, um, but we're cutting them out in class. If you just wanna have the two papers together and just kind of match them that way, that's perfectly fine. But if you'd rather cut them out and match them physically like we are, then go for it. But here's my recommendation. I would have the graphs all set out and then have your scenarios in a stack. That way you're just looking at one scenario at a time and trying to match it with the graph. Okay. All right. So let's just go with the one on top. It says Jack was shopping with his mother at the grocery store. He was pushing the cart behind his mom really slow and stopping every few minutes so she could put stuff in the cart. When they were leaving, he got to the, he got to push it really fast to the car. So one thing that stands out in this scenario for me is that since they were at the grocery store, they were stopping a lot and they were stopping frequently. So if you look at these graphs here, which one looks like there's a lot of short stops in every few minutes? This one. See, look how many horizontal lines there are. It's like every few minutes. Plus, it also says he ran fast at the end. So scenario five would go with graph number four. Okay, we're gonna do one more together and then the rest on you. All right, scenario one. Marielle was thirsty, so she left her room to go to the kitchen. She was walking for two seconds when she ran into her little brother at the corner, so she stopped for three seconds. She then continued walking for five seconds to the kitchen. So she's walking, 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 and she runs into her brother, so it makes her stop, and then she continues on her path walking to the kitchen. So which one shows she's walking, then she stops, and then she continues with her journey? graph number three. So there we go for that 